This is going to be a quick chest run with Tasca's demise. Sub guys, we are moving on with the chest run series. Another thousand chests were opened for this vid. And if you didn't know, here you can get some very sought after shields, starting with the magma shields, then the summit warlord shields, and the stone summit shields. The last two are also called as the SWS or the SSS. So if you've seen these abbreviations somewhere in the game but you had no clue about them, now you will know what those skins are. Normally you won't get the titan spawn in this area unless you take a quest in Drokner's Forge. If you find this crystal spider looking stuff and type slash Neil, you can summon the Vision of Glint NPC and you can pick up the different Drokner's Forge quest. After that you get the extra titans in Tasca's Demise and the chance for those nice magma shields as well. Like I said, you may get free rare shields in this one area and this was the good news, but now the bad news. This area is very small, very crowded and both the titans and the stone summits have skills which absolutely make your chest runs horrible. Starting with the giant stump, which is a knockdown. Then we have disrupting chop, an interrupt and worst of all are the icy bruise which have wide blow so you can say your speed boost stance is goodbye and we also have irresistible blow to provide knockdowns in the worst possible moments when you would not expect it. Uh, since Q8 items are not possible not even in normal mode you should do this chest run in hard mode for maximum gold item chance but this will not be easy. I advise using an assassin with perma shadow form, perma anti knockdown and perma dark escape. Everything is perma here and you will see even with all these the run won't be easy. Also highly recommend using a cupcake, it's only a minor investment if you consider the value of a perfect Q9 2 modded magma shield for instance which can be worth many many arm bases. Alcohol is mandatory too. And if you have the legionnaire summoning crystal that can be a lifesaver as well. So cupcake, booze during the run, max armor, shield set with plus 10 versus cold damage. These helps a bit against the titans. You know they deal cold damage plus a great as a skill called catrops is also necessary. Otherwise you can't break the icy brutes and growth. You can't really outrun them, we must cripple them or slow them down somehow. Alright, if you have it all, you might add some dervish heroes too. Mystic healing can save your ass if your HP is too low. And first we gotta do the resign trick which goes like this. Leave the outpost, turn back and leave the outpost again. If you have done this, then every time you resign you will get pretty close to the portal and you can save precious seconds each run. So once you have it all, you can start the run. If you bring heroes with you, flag them somewhere here at the portal just to make sure they won't die. Of course you can use them as meat shields too, but I prefer them as a healer backup and I like to use some sort of alcohol and a cupcake after the flagging part. But if you don't want to, that can work as well, just the run takes longer and it's easier to mess things up. And during the run I will maintain Warven stability and Dark Escape, also Shroud of Distress and Shadow Form. That the paradox would have been too energy heavy I guess and the titans can remove it anyway and this would mess the recharge of the elite so I prefer Glip of Swiftness this time. And the summit rangers can hit through the block skills and they have Melandru's arrows meaning they hit hard even though we have all the defenses in the world. There is a possible chest spot on the left at the titans but not this time so I will choose the other direction but feel free to do the run from both ways. Soon we reach another typical chest spot and probably the worst of all super crowded area and you can get body blocked very easily. The monster's AI is also messed up, the coasters run, run away from you like headless chickens so it can be a very chaotic scene but we want those nice summit shields so we have no choice we must get the chest. Precost your enchantments before you aggro and try to slalom between these groups if you can and if you get body blocked rely on Heart of Shadow. To be honest you can bring Death Charge too, both help much in these moments. I only prefer the HOS more because its recharge time is better and if I mess things up I can use it more often. Don't forget to maintain Shadow Form of course and once you have the chest leave this area quickly and keep east till you find another chest and another group. Alright, this was pretty smooth, but we reached the Titans territory now. Be on your tools, we must avoid the icy brutes as much as possible. Advise to reuse your enchantments, uh, but 
Keep your Dark Escape, don't use it yet. Instead use Catrops on the Icy Brutes and open the chest. If they are too close, use Shadow Sanctuary. This is the only efficient way to survive their attacks, but only for a short period of time, only for around 12 seconds. When they can't hit you anymore, use Dark Escape. And by the way, the Stone Star Meat and the Titans fight each other all the time, so you can use this out, escape from this spot, while they kill each other. The other Titans aren't really dangerous, mostly coasters with low damage output, but always keep an eye on the Brutes, they can kill you in a few hits. There is a shortcut here, if you check the group behind the mountain, the two Icy Brutes and the Titans Malice group, that's also a chest spawning point, but if I see no, no chest there, I don't turn back, this way I can save like 20 seconds each run. Alright, it looks clean, no chest, let's check the last area, there is a fourth chest, 4 is the max. After you have the loot, you can resign and magic trick, you are at the right place again. If you want to know how many chests you can get here, I can tell you, most of the time 2 or 3 chests, rarely it's 0 or 4, and on average around 2.5 chests each run in around 3 minutes. This is not the highest chest to minute ratio, for sure, but it's decent. And now drop data for the nerds. Most of the time drops were gold or purple armor pieces, like Titan armor is the number one, plenty of superior vigors of course, also Toyak cladding, dwarven ropes, beastmaster harness and even more gold armor pieces may drop here. In total 19 magma shields, this is 1.9% chance, 6 stone submit shields and 5 summit warlord shields. This may look very low in terms of percents, but if you compare Tasca's Demise to Hell's Precipice, there aren't big differences. The left picture is the combined Tasca shield uh, picture, the right one is the Hell's Magma's data. This is uh, 30 versus 29 shields, so it's pretty close. However, for purely Magma shields, Hell's is definitely better. And I will leave this spreadsheet here for you guys, stop the clip where you want to check something. And anyway, thanks for watching and good luck with the shields.